Um, about how many patients do you see in a day or have you seen in over the last 12 years? Oh, uh, it's quite a lot. Uh, for, uh, uh, for a month, I used to, to work alone and uh, the number of uh, patients is more than 100 uh, operations for, for a month. And uh, after that, we have uh, the junior come to, uh, to take part. Okay. And then we have, right now, we have uh, around uh, six or seven who is part time uh, working with me. So they are, we are delegating tasks to those of them. Uh, Great. All of them are, are plastic surgeons at the beginning. But right now we have more of the other specialty like oculoplastic surgeons oh, yeah. and also the uh, maxillofacial and also facial plastic surgeons come to join us. That's great. Um, so what are some of the most common procedures people come to you for? Yeah, in, uh, from here is still the, the nose. Normally they have a flat nose so yeah. they want to augment. So it is a simple procedure. Uh, but this is quite, quite, uh, it's still number one in Thailand. Really? Yes. And How about your um, foreign clients? What uh, do they commonly come oh, for? Oh, the foreign clients yeah. is, is because I, I'm the like pioneer in liposuction, mm-hmm. actually on the vaser. So they, they, they seek my, my uh, treatment uh, about liposuction. And right now, liposuction scene, uh, I step up into more than debulking. But I also uh, uh, get uh, liposculpturing for them. So they, they ask for liposculpturing like uh, high definition, yep. six pack, <laughs> and some other things. And also we do a lot of male breast deduction with hmm. VESA plus uh, dialect excision. So we get, get a very good result. Oh, good to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So you already mentioned this, but all your surgeons are um, board certified? Uh, yes, plastic they are all, all board certified. Okay. Um, okay, so one, one of the most common questions we get is um, a lot of foreign clients are unsure about doing uh, surgery under general anesthesia at a clinic uh-huh. um, rather than a hospital. Uh-huh. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you guys operate here and your thoughts on, on this concern? Uh-huh. Since the operation is, is uh, normally is very superficial, so uh, those of the normally most of them uh, have done in uh, just few hours only. Mm-hmm. So we are seeing the patient first and seeing whether they are normal, uh, they are physically healthy, okay. and uh, if there is any question, and then I, I, I normally uh, in a nephrology. They have cladding the patient into like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's say if they are healthy, they are gla- like uh, at level one. Okay. So in that case, we uh, do a simple procedure. Uh, we have a uh, anesthesiologist to take care of them. So I think uh, th- we have uh, all equipment uh, in in order to to save the patient life. Okay. So I think. Uh, uh, just a short operation, a surgical operation, with the uh, with the care of, of uh, I myself and also an anesthesiologist and also the nurse. Uh, I I I will do the the operation here. Mm. But in case where the patient seek for more uh, like uh, 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 intensive care like that, yeah. and we we have uh, the hospital. I bring them to another hospital. Okay, good to know. So yeah. the clinic is fully equipped and on yes, staff correct. anesthesiologist, but if there's any concern, you can operate out of the hospital yes, as well. Yes, correct. Yeah, yes. Okay.